right, so now we're going to talk about lunch because lunch looks a little bit different and it's, it's probably going to be the biggest like, whoa, that's really different for our students. So we want to take you inside of the cafeteria and we're going to go through and we're going to pretend that we are either in 4K, or kindergarten, first or second grade because we're going to show you kind of the path um, that they'll take when they come in. So as we look, this we're standing in the atrium at the front of the school. Right down this hallway is our kindergarten hallway. So as our kids are leaving kindergarten, they're going to be coming up the hallway. Um, our kindergarten teachers actually have purchased rope. Um, it's kind of cool rope, and they've marked right. off with like little rings every six feet. So they can actually Jeez. hold the ring and kind of keep them through, keep them in the line, keep them together. And so here we come. We're going to walk in and show them how to go. So we'll walk slow here <laughs> so we don't run over our camera person. Yes, she, she's doing a She might not be happy job. with us if we do that. <laughs> So I'll get a picture of the sign here on the floor, some signage that we have around and throughout the school. Obviously reminding folks to be smart and six feet apart. I'll get that for you, Ms. Gray. Thank Let you. Let me be a gentleman. Thank I'll try you. to I anyway. appreciate All right. it. Thank so we've got some arrow markers down on the floor. So our younger students are going to come in to the gym. Notice the marker here kind of points us in this direction. And then they've got the yellow um, arrows here that are going to go around the outside. But as we, we'll stop here and kind of pause and look back, if you notice, we pulled a lot of tables from all over the school um, to be able to put down here to get as many kids as we can uh, in here to feed them at different times. But all of them are six feet apart. Uh, kind of all of the, this section that's in the gym is all facing this direction um, at the moment. So the students will follow. Following the yellow brick road. Right. What a lot of time that has been spent to put all these markings on the floor and measure and yeah, I want all to thank our, uh, our uh, Ms. Holder and the team of teachers that worked on kind of our process and procedures for, for lunch and then for some folks from building uh, grounds operations coming by and putting down the yellow tape kind of marking it for us. Um, so they'll come down this wall here. Um, we have two serving lines and so the K through two students are going to come this direction, uh, or four K through two, and they'll come through, get their tray, pick up their lunch here, and they're not going to be getting their milk, but they're not going to stop here and put in their pin number this year. We don't want to have all everybody touching that. Their fingers. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the teachers will be marking that off on our roster. So the ones that come down through here, they'll follow this direction, and they'll have kind of an assigned seating area. Uh, children will have their own seats, um, so it'll be kind of like a seating chart in the cafeteria so we know who was sitting where and that kind of thing. If you notice down here, um, the seats that are marked with an X are, can't sit there, it's like Forrest Gump, can't sit here. <laughs> right? So uh, the seats that do not have the markers on them right now, we're going to try to get something that looks a little better than mask and tape, but for right now, that was cost efficient. and did the job Absolutely. so they'll be sitting here six feet apart this side the uh, the tables and there'll be some kids that are up there on the te um, round tables we'll use those as well spaced out they'll all be facing this direction now if you're a third through fifth grade student they're going to exit out the end of their hall come down under the awning and come in from these doors here go to serving line uh, one and then if you notice over here they come by, they'll follow this line, which leads them out to the front of the cafeteria. And then they're going to go either back to their classroom, or if it's a nice day and they can get outside, they'll go outside to eat their lunch. So, um, okay. Now, will they have uh, the same amount of time to eat lunch as they have in previous years, or did that schedule yes, have to Yes, absolutely. So, we actually have it scheduled uh, where they have the same amount of time to eat. We we're able to um, space it out a little bit, put more time in between groups of kids, our classes coming to be able to clean uh, and do a little bit more with that. So uh, they'll still have the same amount of time. We've also scheduled recess times. Um, every student has two recess times, and they are um, two 15-minute recess that is built into the schedule. One will be around their lunch time, either before or after, and another will be sometime during the day. We hope that they can build in more breaks, more outside time. Um, definitely do some brain breaks where they get up and move, do a go noodle, you yeah. know, show off their dance moves. Uh, from us, Lord, in first grade, you know, they don't show off their dance yeah. moves. So we're gonna get them up and we're gonna get them moving, but they have two outside recess times. Good. Now, I know in the past I would uh, try to come every now and then and have lunch with my freshman.
Rogers Porter. So uh, I feel sure that has changed for this school year. So um, how will that? Unfortunately, work? that is one of those changes. I'm sure um, that we probably all kind of figured this was coming, but it's kind of hard. Middle school, high school, parents don't come, and uh, I <laughs> we're not wanted. For my age. years of doing that, they don't <laughs> want to be there. The kids don't want them there. But elementary school, you know, we have a lot of visitors, especially on birthdays. Parents, I know you love to bring cupcakes, um, you know, cookie cake, hand out, and that kind of stuff, and eat lunch with your child. I mean, we really hate this, but uh, it kind of goes along with our visitation. Our visitor uh, policies right now is really by appointment only. It's really um, just having to check in the office if you need to sign your kid out, that kind of thing. So, unfortunately, for a couple reasons, one, because of spacing, social distancing, keeping vis visitors down, Second thing is we don't have the space. Uh, we have enough room in here to get K through two uh, to be able to eat at different times, but not any other visitors, even if we could. Also about bringing in the cupcakes. So you said, well, I can't come eat with them, but can I drop off the cupcakes? Well, that kind of falls into that kind of coming in from outside. And, and so I'll say to this point, because some people have asked, well, can they even send lunch to school? Mm -hmm. you know, can my kid bring a lunch box? They can because that's their thing. You're sending it. You're sending it for your two, your two boys. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, but bringing in items like cupcakes or cookies that's going to be distributed to everybody, we're just not going to be able to do that at this time. So I know that's kind of a downer, sore, sore subject. Safety you bring it up. first. There you Safety go. first. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll do it. So, uh, so lunch looks a little different. Cafeteria gym looks a little different. And I know some of our kids are probably, if you're watching this video with your parents, you're like, as you span back and look at the uh, gym there, you're probably like. What about PE? Are you telling me we're not gonna have PE? Rest assured kids, we are gonna have PE. Um, the coaches are working actually on creating an area of space out here uh, on nice days to be able to take their classes out and do some of the activities, be able to get outside, get some fresh air. But if it's raining, we've got an area downstairs that they're gonna use a large classroom that doesn't have any furniture that they can spread out a little more. Uh, worst case scenario, if we have to use that class, they'll do some activities in the classroom. So you still have PE, you just won't be in the gym because we're yeah, using we get those lunch. wiggles out. That's right. That's right. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about is after school care. I'll do that really, really quickly because it only applies to those of you who are needing after school care. Yeah. Hopefully you signed up for that. Yes, uh, the did. registration form. We're pretty much full right now for the younger grades. Have a few spots left for maybe three through five. That will be in here in the afternoons as well. That way we can space them out. Um, and they'll have time to work on their schoolwork. They'll get some support and help if they need it. Uh, we've got it scheduled to where groups will go out for 15 minutes, come back in. Maybe a, you know the next group goes out for 15 minutes so that they get some activity time. We have a big screen to pull down. You can see the TVs up there so they can show a movie or something like that in the afternoon. Parents, if you're in after school care, your child is going in after school care, you'll actually use the bus loop, which is at the rear side of the school over here or if you're facing the front of the school it's to your left they'll pull through here um, and call and let the directors know that they're here and they'll bring your child out to this door right here so um, that's Perfect. after school care a little bit different but we did that so that we could keep more kids in after school care um, because using the rooms we've used in the past we'd have to limit it to about 40. Uh, well, so, we appreciate that absolutely, so absolutely. i know that's a service that many many parents need yes so. yes for sure all right, so we're gonna we're gonna pause here, and then we're gonna pick up and talk about some of the the cleaning, some of the safety stuff that some of the new things that we've added and uh, the district's purchase and, and around the school. So we'll show you some of those. All right, thank you. 